Hi there. Today we are starting week 7 which is all about regular expressions or regex. Lot of people who call them as regex. Whatever. Regex, regex or regular expressions. These are very powerful tools which allow us to look for or search for a particular pattern in a given string. And today I am going to deal with the first problem numbers. So let us jump into what the numbers here is. The problem states here that in a file called numbers.py implement a function called validate heap if you can see it over here validate that expects an ipvp4 address as an input as an star and then returns true or false respectively if the input is a valid ipvp address or not so what is a valid ipvp address so if you see over here a valid ipvp address is consisting of four parts and all these parts are separated by a dot or a decimal sign and these are going to be all these four parts are going to be numbers only no punctuation no alphabets only numbers so and the numbers has to be anything between 0 and 255 both inclusive so if it is 256 257 it is invalid or if we go to what's the negative side minus one minus two again that is invalid and here it is the a function which uh, not a function i will say i will say that okay a pseudo code has been given which we need to stick to and finally we have to implement or we have to write a test cases for it in a file called test underscore numbers dot pi and it should be having two or more functions so very clearly we can see here that uh, what are the two test cases can be here one is that it has to be a four part series four part here all decimals and secondly that all those numbers need to be in between 0 and 255 with this background let us jump into code spaces here i am in numbers directory and i have already copied the pseudo code that has been given by the cs50 and I am going to use this pseudocode as the blueprint for our further code. If we just take a look into this pseudocode, so there is a function called validate here, which is accepting the input from user IPvP4 address, and then this valid function is going to validate the IP, and then finally, if underscore underscore name, that is it. So let me get rid of one extra space from here and I am going to write here the code. The basic idea is that user is going to enter something like this here. If I go to the demo video 1.2.3.4 you can see it here. here. So I am going to split all these four parts on the basis of the dot. Let us do that. So what I am going to write here is that IP dot split split on the basis of what a dot split it is a method it is a method that is associated with python strings i have already created a detailed video about 27 most frequently used python string methods i will give the i cut up above and i will share also share it as an end screen let us store this in a variable called parts here if I try to print this, what is in the parts, let us try checking that. I write here print parts and if I run this program, let us say I am putting a 10.20.30.40. You can see here we are getting the four parts 10, 20, 30 and 40 in the form of a list. So we are going to utilize it further. Let's get rid of this line for the time being. And now I am going to do a search. We have already imported the re directory here so i am writing here re search here and i am going to use a raw string why if you come over here and check the help that is given or hints that is given over here uh, cs50 is advising us to use the raw string here if you see therefore i am going to use a raw string so very first thing I am going to use a carrot and a dollar. Yeah. So carrot for the beginning and dollar means at the end. And what I am going to do here is that because we have got four parts, I can put here 
parenthesis which is for parts and inside it I am going to write D. D is for and I am going to write a plus here. Why D? If I go over here, this is the lecture notes from CS50. So if you see slash small d or lowercase d, it is for decimal digit. And if I go a little up here, you will observe that plus sign is for one or more repetition. It should be here somewhere. Here you see plus sign is for one or more repetition. So this is what I am going to do here. And then we, I am going to have what we are going to have a dot but we need to escape it with a escape character this is going to constitute our one part here what essentially we are saying here is that give me find out the decimal digits 0 to 9 if you want then you can write something like this as also 0 to 9 but okay I prefer writing it like this way okay so I need to have decimal digits one or more time and then a dot. So let me copy this because this is going to appear at four times. So I need to paste it four times. Then again a dot. Then again a dot and then this. If this returns true, then what? Then I am going to look for for part in parts now i am going to ensure that everything is all the four parts are within the range of 0 to 255 it is not minus 1 minus 2 or not 256 257 or something like that but this is returning me an star value so first of all we need to change it into a int value so again another if if int part is less than 0 or int part is greater than 255 then I am going to return false and mind the indentation here else I am going to return true one thing that I have missed here is that I need to forgot to sub write here IP because where it is going to search it is going to search for all these patterns inside the IP IP is what IP is being passed here and this is being accepted in the validate function so IP that I have missed writing earlier so we have says that okay this IP is having four blocks of digits separated by a dot and here we are checking all those four parts are in between 0 and 255 if not then I am going to return it false otherwise true otherwise I am going to return false again why false here again because if the user is not entering the digits here we have assumed that user has entered digits and based on that assumption we have moved on for the further validation but what if the user does not enter digits cat dot rat dot dog dot bat something like that in that very case also it need to return false and then here we have so let's have a space here let me clear the screen and run this program so first of all i am going to write something like this cat dog rat and bat it is returning me false so let me run it one more time 1.2.3.4 it is true clear the screen let's come over into this 127.0.0.1 127.0.0.1 which is true matching with our here next one is 275.3.6.220 okay let us start with here I missed one which again true clear the terminal the last one that I'm going to check here is this part obviously it should be returning false because this 275 because of this which is more than 255 let it paste it over here it is returning false so we are all good 
now let us jump on to the test.numbers here i am starting with importing the required libraries import pi test and then from numbers import validate def main and as i had said earlier i am going to structure my test cases around two things that first thing is that it is of four digits or four parts to be precise and second is that all the four parts are within the range of two, 0 to 255 both the numbers including so let us call it first the test format and second one the test range def te test underscore format and here I am going to write validate what I am going to validate here is that for example 10.20.30.40 it is consisting of four parts so I should be getting here true assert validate now I am going to keep reducing the numbers 10.20.30 or the parts to be precise now it should be getting give me false assert validate now this time I am going to supply just two parts 10.20 and it should also return me false finally I can write here valid assert validate and just one part that is 10 and that should also give me false next one is def test range remember our range must be in between 0 to 255 so let us start with 255.255.255.255 and it should return me true next is and let us use here the raw string let us not confuse python or or pytest and in fact if you go to the hint that is given over here it is clearly written if you see here backslashes in regular expression could be mistaken for escape characters like slash n best to use python's raw string for regular expressions else pytest will warn with a deprecate deprecation warning invalid uses escape, invalid escape sequence so let's not do that and now i am going to increase it i am going to write here 256.1.1.1 and it should return me false and we need to check that this 256 or any number which is higher than 255 it could be at any of the four places i have checked it only for the first part so now i am going to check it for the second part 256.1.1 again it should return me false assert validate r 1.2 2 dot okay 256 now I am checking it at the third place not comma it should be a dot here equal to equal to false and finally 1.1.1 and 256 at the fourth place or at the end and finally if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to equal to quote unquote underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then call main now if I try to run pi test here pi test test num no how it is written num numbers dot pi here you see everything is passed so let me clear the screen and jump straight away to the cs50 checks i am not going to introduce any bug now so let me copy this line of code come over here paste it i want i just wanted to share with all of you is that i have been publishing videos related to python other than cs50 for python on my youtube channel 
i will share the link of the playlist into the description box you can go and check those videos out so it is waiting for the result i am hoping everything is going to be in green let me pull it a little up everything is in green it means that our code has passed all the cs50 parameters and we are good to submit that is it for this video if you find this video useful consider giving it a like subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are pursuing cs50 for python till that time happy coding